As we move towards a carbon neutral future, the aviation industry must innovate to meet net zero goals by 2050. Nikon SLM Solutions is driving this transformation with additive manufacturing technology that enhances the production of critical parts, leading to significant reductions in emissions and waste, whilst also improving performance and efficiency. At the heart of the discussion over how to cut future carbon emissions, the role of current technology available is often overlooked. Firms like Nikon SLM believe there is no time to wait. Their 3D printing technology is helping the aviation sector make the shift by creating lightweight, high-performing components crucial to reducing emissions and improving efficiency. At its core, Nikon SLM is an innovative technology company. We are a group of passionate innovators and engineers that really share a, a simple goal, and that is to change the future of manufacturing through the development and the deployment of industrial-scale metal 3D printing. CEO Sam O'Leary says much of the firm's focus is about speeding up how fast components can be made, cutting down time and cost, and through Nikon SLM's partnerships with industry leaders like Rolls-Royce and Safran, he says he's well aware of the challenges facing the aviation sector. Increasing passenger numbers, increasing demands, a huge target for carbon neutrality, and of course, the reality of regulatory requirements. Aircraft engines are very complex pieces of equipment. They need mass time to develop, mass time to approve, and of course, changing decades-old proven technology processes is not so easy, but it's exactly those changes that are needed to make a big difference in terms of how the machine performs, how the output of the equipment is, of course, and of course then the net effect on emissions and the drive towards carbon neutrality is all one single outcome of this multitude of processes. For aircraft manufacturers, metal 3D printing offers a step change from the traditional metal casting processes of the past. Bart Leitherink, who oversees Nikon SLM sales in Europe, the Middle East and Africa, says customers are using the firm's technology to customise parts for their individual needs in a way that is both quick and cost effective. An important aspect of using this technology is to design differently and to be able, for instance, to retrieve heat or energy in an engine and bring that back into the process, therefore optimizing the ROI of an engine, and hence, therefore, using less, you could say, fuel consumption. So targets out for the next generation are like 30% less fuel consumption, and, and these are big milestones towards uh, reducing that footprint. With the global aviation sector facing increasing regulatory pressure to decarbonize, there's a growing sense that to meet the targets of tomorrow, action needs to be taken today. Nikon SLM says its solutions are already helping their customers not just reduce their carbon footprint, but also boost their bottom line. But while the company's current range of products is already making a big impact in how aircraft parts are made, Nikon SLM's chief technology officer says they also have their eye on the future. Within the engineering community, one team that uh, is only focusing on the innovation, right? So they, they don't work on what is going to be introduced in the market in the next year or two, but they work on something that we know is going to be a differentiator for our machine in four or five years from now. There is no limit on how fast we want to print our component, right? And that can only be done through real innovation. And while predicting what lies over the horizon remains difficult, one thing is certain. Change is coming to the aviation sector. Nikon SLM says it's laser focused on helping the sector embrace that change and steer a course to a greener, more cost-effective future.